All right, today we have my little brother's car in here. It was running rough and dying after it warmed up. It run rough. Um, it wouldn't be able to start it right away. And it was uh, throwing a check engine light. Pulled the EGR circulation code on it. And so started tearing stuff down. Came across a couple things here. Tested the EGR valve itself, put vacuum to it, and the car did not die. So that tells me that the EGR is bad or you have a clogged port. Well, usually it, the, the case is a clogged port, so I went ahead and took the EGR valve off, and this is what it looks like. I stuck my screwdriver in there. That's what the hole is. Bunch of carbon buildup on the EGR valve. The easiest way to take this thing off is from the bottom down here. Right down here, back of the head back there is uh, where this fitting is right here. And the easiest way is to get down underneath of here and down inside there, and then take off the back of the uh, take off the EGR off the intake. And this is what it looks like on the intake here. Completely plugged. Oh, and I just popped it out. There it goes, down the intake. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the intake tube here and pull that chunk of uh, carbon out of there. And uh, we should be good to go here. And this thing was failing emissions because of high knocks. That was the initial thing. It was running pretty shitty. But it was mainly failing emissions because of high knocks, which that will cause. And there you have it. Pretty simple fix to these Toyotas that have these two two engines in them. And uh, if it's not something like that, it's usually the, the oxygen sensors causing uh, emissions failures. Or actually, this is a brand new boot. This thing had a crack in it and a hole in it. So it was probably sucking up a bunch of crap and stuff like that and uh, had to replace the new intake tube too. So there you have it. A little lesson in Toyotas. Thank you. Bye-bye now.